Dear customer, we thank you for purchasing the Biospec uh, Beat Beater. Biospec Beat Beater is a very simple but quite unique product and we use it only for cells. Cells means we can lyse only bacteria, yeast or fungi in this. Please never try to lyse the tissues in this machine. So these are the few components of the bead beater. This is the motor of the bead beater. This is your 350 ml chamber, poly, 350 ml polycarbonate chamber. This is your ice water jacket. For lower volume of sample, this is a 15 ml chamber. This is a rotor for your 350 ml polycarbonate chamber and this is called the ring base. So <clears throat> this machine can be used with crushed ice also, especially for protein sample extraction. So we are just trying to demonstrate uh, how, how we can use this machine. So first of all, what I will do that I will just take the machine giving the power that the machine is working fine. For the power, there is an on off switch. So there is no automation in this machine. Uh, once you want to run the machine, you have to put the power on and once you want to stop it, you have to put the power off. So I'm just checking it. Okay, so the machine is working fine. So suppose you, you want to use uh, the uh, 350 ml chamber and suppose you want uh, to use without crushed dice. So we will see how we can use that. First of all, tilt the chamber upside down and you fill the chamber with 50 to 70 percent of the beads. After that, you put your extraction buffer and sample. In this chamber, the sample can be from 1 to 80 grams. So that is quite a good volume of the cells. Then firstly put the beads, then uh, your extraction buffer and sample. Try that there should not be any air on the top. Once this is filled, keep some space so that this rotor can go. In this rotor you will see that there is a rubber gasket. This is very important. Never use the machine without this rubber gasket because it seals your rotor. So push it upside down like this and then tighten with the ring base. It should be hand tight only but tight enough so that there is no leakage. So your sample and your 350 ml rotor is ready. Then you can see that there are some teeth in this uh, motor also on on this rotor also. So fix it in a way that these teeth goes in the slide and they match it. Once you have done that, you can tighten the rotor with the help of this chain so that while running it will not go. And then you run it for one to two minutes, whatever your requirement is, put it, put the machine on. You can run it for two minutes and then uh, the sample will be lysed. Once your samples are lysed, you take the rotor out, again turn it upside down, open the ring base, take slowly your rotor out and this is your lysed sample. Then you can extract it with the help of filtration and so many other methods. So this is quite a simple machine. In case you want to extract protein, so what you can do in place of ring base, you tighten it on this ice water jacket. Same way. Again, put this on the machine. Make sure it is gripped with the teeth. Now in this volume, the volume between the ice water jacket and the 350 ml chamber, you can fill the crushed ice so that while running it will keep the sample cool. But make sure that your gasket is properly fit and the rotor is tight so that there is no leakage of sample.
Now you cannot put this chain, but because ice is there, so it will make the rotor heavy and it will not move. Again, you can run the machine in the same way. Now there is one more option, third option. Suppose if you want to use the small chamber of 15 ml for very less volumes. So what you can do in your small chamber, again fill your 50 to 70 percent beads, then your extraction buffer and then your sample. In this, the maximum sample will be almost, say in 350 ml, it is 80 grams. So in 15 ml, it will be around, uh, sorry, 80 grams. So it will be around maybe seven, 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 eight grams maximum. You have to just calculate with the volume, like in 350 ml, 80 grams maximum. So in 15 ml, how much it will be? So what you can do that you can insert after filling your sample and beads and everything, you can again tilt it like this and then again use your ring base and tighten. Okay. And in, in this, so uh, in, in the volume that is left between the 15 ml and 350 ml chamber, you can put your crush dies. Then again, what you did previously, tighten the ring base. Put it on the machine and run. So as you can see that the machine is very, very simple. Uh, make sure that don't run the machine continuously for more than three minutes or I would prefer two minutes. And after that, leave it for two, three minutes and then again run it because the motor is quite heavy and it may get warmed up. So I hope that this video will help you in running the machine. We once again thank you very much and if you are having any query, please always feel free to contact Unigenetics. Thank you.